Welcome back, everybody, to the Kalispell Warhawk Dynasty Season 13. We're back at home and face the defending national champions today, Army. Army defeated Stanford last year in the national title, and they run the best option offense in the country. They are 5-1, only losing one game this year to LSU, who's ranked number two in the country, and they barely lost that game. Army returns a lot of their talent that helped them win the national championship and now look to end Kalispell's 28-game home win streak. We are under the lights here with two top 10 teams and here we go from Kalispell. It's Dehante Jeffries out of the end zone. He's been a playmaker on kick returns but gets tripped up and makes it just across the 25-yard line. Kalispell is coming off a close loss against Florida State. They are 3-2 on the season. First play is a completion. Luke Irvin to Sherrod Edwards, who picks up 10. Now, we're not just seeing a great Army offense today. They have a tremendous defense as well. Caught now by Maddox for a gain of 7. Army is allowing 16.8 points per game and are number 1 in yards allowed. Second down, Jim Jackson running inside. He picks up five yards. I've definitely been happy with the season Jackson's put together to this point. On second down, wide open. Irvin has Drake Maddox again inside the Army 30. Good start for the Kalispell offense. They are on the move, and starting fast has been a big issue for them this year. Jackson now, cutting to the outside, trying to get to the end zone, and is shoved out at about the two and a half yard line. Kalispell right there, first and goal. Two tight ends, two receivers. Jackson, middle, touchdown! Great start for Kalispell, especially coming off the defeat. Gotta love that opening drive. And also, Texas, one of the teams to defeat Kalispell, has lost. That will definitely shake up the top 10. 7-0 Kalispell, and here are the defending national champs. And of course, they run this triple option flex bone offense and run this one with Brian Watts. He's the big fullback and one of many ball carriers you'll see for this Army offense. Second and three. Watts again breaks the tackle. Drives ahead for a couple extra. Gain of six for Brian Watts. Mike Hill is the quarterback, and he did quarterback the championship team of a year ago. Toss now Gilbert. Breaking tackles and getting about eight yards. A lot of sloppy tackling already for Kalispell. Second down. Hill is hit and stumbles down, losing a yard. That's Braylon Kendrick. Got to slow down this option offense somehow. Third and three. Here's Evans on the edge. Got the first and a whole lot more inside the 30. Richard Evans is the leading rusher on this team. Over 800 yards, nine touchdowns. Hill. Hit keeps his balance. The outside is open again. Hill reaches ahead. Gain of 15. How about the way Army has driven down the field? Toss to Richard Evans. Turns up field inside the five and nearly breaks the plane. Army one yard out. Goal to go against this Kalispell defense and Watts punches it in. Touchdown. Impressive drives for both teams to start today's action. We have a tie at seven. We have two extremely different offenses but both show how successful they can be. Wow, good hit on Merville as this drive starts with a negative run. Third down now. Kalispell trying to keep this drive going. Irvin outside the pocket now and nowhere for him to go. He just throws it away. Army picks up the first stop of the day and Kalispell already has to get back on the field for defense and Army's at about midfield. Brian Watts breaks another tackle, and he's up to the 35, getting 15 more. Watts is 273 pounds, and he has some great speed to go with that size. Gilbert now on the sweep, getting to the edge, gain of six. You can't just overload one spot against this defense. They can go in any direction now. Gilbert with blockers in front, inside the 10, down to the one. Army so close to another touchdown. 
One yard out again. Hill hits, wrapped up on the play. Marcus Smith. There's a loss. But there's a long way for Kalispell to get comfortable against this offense. Hill again. Minton can't break the plane. Stopped by Anthony Payne. Warhawks trying to get the big stop. Third and goal. Travis Paul is stuffed. Kalispell makes the play. But Army's offense will stay on the field. Fourth and goal. What a big spot here in the first quarter. As Watts is in again. Touchdown, Army. The Warhawks with no answer to this point as Army has scored two impressive touchdown drives. This Kalispell offense has to show they can keep up. They take over. First and ten. Here's Chambers on the screen. It's a gain of four. Edwards and Chambers, the two leading receivers on this offense. Third and six. Irvin throws complete, and Lindsay's hit immediately and stops shy of the marker. Army with their second straight stop on defense. And this is not bad field position either. That time they got Hill in the backfield, though, and that's Bill Long. That's the key to throwing this offense off track. Force them to throw it. Third and 16. Mike Hill is sacked! Trey Walker! And Kalispell picks up their first stop of the night. Now already with drive number four on the sweep, Jim Jackson falls ahead through contact, gain of seven. Two receivers on the field and two tight ends. Here's Irvin, strong throw to the sideline. It's Sherrod Edwards and a first. Kalispell driving again off the fake. Here's some pressure. Irvin got away. Extends outside the pocket. Now pumps. Fires downfield. Oh my, what a throw. Why did he throw that? Mayo on the return and Army takes over. This ball cannot be thrown on first down. Just trying to make way too much happen. There's no shot. That is a really bad interception. Army takes over. First and ten. Here's Hill. Has some room and just keeps it himself. Gain of ten. Kalispell's got to cause more disruption up front somehow. Hill on the keeper again with blocks in the second level. And he falls through the contact of Elliott Red. First down. 32 yards for Mike Hill. Looks like he'll keep it again. This time Kendrick's there. Perfect option defense that time. It's staying consistent, that is the issue. They run option even on second and 12. Hill on the keeper has the first. You've got to make two good plays to force a third down pass. That's the whole blueprint to winning. Hill, hit, wrapped up for another loss. So Kalispell's getting some more victories and largely because of Braylon Kendrick's play. Third down and five. Hill now passing. His first throw all day is complete to Julian Tolbert. It's just enough for a first. Now expect them to go right back to option. Watts on the carry. Inside the 10. Stopped after eight more. Kalispell really hasn't had much of an answer for him. Second and two. Hill outside. Wrapped up inside the five. Just shy of the end zone again. Army looking for their third touchdown. Hill flips to Evans, getting outside. Red won't let him break the plane. What a play. And Mike Hill has come out of the game now. He is being checked out on the sideline, and Patrick Gray is the new quarterback. Tossed to Gilbert. It's Red again. When he reads the play, he can close in an instant. It is third and goal for Army. They head to the air, setting up a screen for Brian Watts, who's hit quickly and stopped for a loss. There's a red zone stand for Kalispell. Army still adds points. Ten-point game now. Kalispell really slowing down after their opening drive touchdown, but here's a good run for Jim Jackson. Can they bookend the half here with good possessions? It's third down and short. Off tackle, Jackson falls ahead. He's done a pretty good job in this first half. 52 yards, plenty after contact. Under two to play, and the blitz gets to Irvin. This throw, thankfully, just incomplete. 
So that brings up another third down. Can Kalispell make a play? They need 10. Irvin going downfield for Edwards, and it's underthrown and nearly picked. Army picks up yet another stop. They're going to get a two-minute drill chance, and we'll see how they approach it. They're throwing on first down. There goes Hill, though, taking off. He's back in the game, picks up the first down. This defense has just been a step behind the entire way. Third down and six for Hill. They bring pressure, and Hill sails out of bounds with this pass. There's a stop, at least, for Kalispell. They have some time, but Army's done a really good job in coverage, and Kalispell just hasn't made enough plays. Under a minute to go. Here's Jackson underneath. Derek Jackson, the young wideout, picks up 13. First down. Kalispell empty with five receivers for Irvin. Outside again, caught by Lindsay. Another big time throw by Luke Irvin for the gain of 17. They still have all three timeouts as well. 50 seconds left against the pressure. Irvin completes again to Josh Vincent. Another clock stopping first down and they keep up the tempo. They're in field goal range now, still plenty of time. Quick screen, Chambers cuts and gets eight yards. Timeout Kalispell, now they'll regroup for a moment. Maddox and Merville both check in. Third down Kalispell, 33 seconds on the clock. Lindsay again on the catch. First down Kalispell. Brand new set of downs, clock running now inside 30 seconds. Irvin has time, spins outside, fires to the end zone, touchdown! Caught by Phoenix Chambers! He wrestled that away for the score! I thought Chambers would keep going to the sideline, it turned into a contested opportunity, and wow, Chambers makes the play of the half for Kalispell. They did not play a great half, but to only be down by three is a pretty good spot right now for them. Army's option offense has looked outstanding. Kalispell's offense has been more inconsistent, but they had two touchdown drives, and I think they played better defense toward the end of that half. Perhaps they've learned a few things and can begin slowing down what Army does with this option offense. They will open now with misdirection. Here's Hill out to the right side. That is a play we haven't seen to this point. There's just so much they can do. You can't guess. Gilbert on the carry. Running right. Getting nine yards. All you can do is win up front, defeat your blocks, and try to make a play. There we go. Watts is stuffed at last. Braylon Kendrick may be the best player on Kalispell's defense today. Third down and two. Hill keeps it, hit by Kendrick, and he's got it. The momentum from the hit helped him out. Seven tackles now for Kendrick. Hill, outside again, gets a block on red. Chased by Walker, who shoves him out after 18 yards. 100 yards rushing now for quarterback Mike Hill. On second down, hit in the backfield. That is the key. Disruption from Nick Robinson forces third and long. Army needs 11. Hill to the air, has time, and floats it complete. Brady Eaton, 17 yards. Even when you force this team to pass, Mike Hill has 12 touchdowns and one pick on the year. He can throw. Second and 12, throwing again. Evans breaks a tackle and is hit shy of the sticks. These are the plays that are going to win or lose this game. Third and two. Hill flips to Thomas. He is driven out of bounds. Great play. Mike Hill took another big hit on that play. And the trainers are once again checking him out on the sideline. Six-point game. Army leads as Kalispell takes over. After seven yards to Jackson, now Merville re-enters the game. Third and three. Irvin airs it out. Perfect strike for Drake Maddox. Irvin's made some really nice throws outside the numbers today. Maddox now with 56 yards. New set of downs and they set up the screen getting Merville a chance. He's hit down quickly after a gain of six. Kalispell pretty pass heavy in this one and they're throwing again. 
Irvin on second down, takes a shot at the sideline, caught by Lindsey! He got a foot inbounds, at least one. Another great throw from Luke Irvin. That is special arm talent. They are inside the five, down six. Jackson carries, he's in, touchdown! Tie game at 20, Kalispell with a big touchdown drive. The extra point has given Kalispell the lead, and now Army is again playing with their backup quarterback, who gives to Watts, and he has all kinds of space. Brian Watts into Kalispell territory with his biggest run, 41 yards. He's averaging almost 10 yards an attempt. 21-20, Evans the motion man. Watts again, this time stuffed. Trey Walker. On the edge of field goal range, it's third down Army. Looking for four, quick pressure, quick throw. Stopped on the outside, only a gain of two. And that brings out the field goal team. Army trying to retake the lead. 45 yard try. Right hash. It's a perfect kick. Army back on top. 2.35 to play in the third as Kalispell takes over, running a counter with Jackson, and he gets six. Really, Jackson should be getting a lot more carries in this game, but they got to throw it here. Third and four, dropping back, way back, and Irvin is picked off by Irvin. Army with their second takeaway and they'll get the ball back in Kalispell territory with the lead. Irvin jumped the pass for Lindsay. And Army has it first down. Gray still the quarterback. Flips left, hit, and dropped. Good defense all around that time for Kalispell. Second and long now for Army. The run of the gang. Gray breaks the tackle and Payne makes the play. Back to back losses. That's what we want to see, especially with Army now, not in field goal range. It's third and 15. Gray, pressured, and throws this incomplete. Someone must have hit his arm. Fourth down. Two turnovers now on the day for Irvin as Kalispell still down two. They take over. Jackson trying to get outside and did not get the block he was looking for. Still gains five. Two tight ends for the Warhawks. Jackson straight ahead and stuffed. He did not get it. What a play. But Kalispell is going to go for it here to start the fourth quarter. Fourth and inches. A sneak from Irvin. He'll get a few yards. Kalispell knows they have to make the most out of the remaining drives. They may only get a couple more. Play fake now. Irvin on target for Maddox. The fake freezes the defense. Maddox gets behind the linebackers. We got to see more of that. That's a great play for this offense. On the carry now, Sean Merville makes a move and picks up around 12. That's one of his better carries. Jim Jackson checks back into the game and runs behind this two tight end look, finds the opening. The whistle hasn't blown yet and Jackson's back on his feet. Gain of 10. Fullback Trey Dunn now in the game, getting serious about this power rushing. Jackson again, spinning forward for a gain of six. Merville back in, they keep up the running back rotation. It's third and five. Irvin pressure, trying to get away from it and throws away. Good job again by Army. A Warhawk field goal gives us another lead change. Warhawks up one. Army, nowhere for Gray, he's hit down again. Kalispell's played a lot better with Gray in over Hill, who is not going to return today. Evans breaks the tackle and still loses yardage. Anthony Payne. This defense forces another third and long. Can they get a quick stop? Here's Gray from under center needing 13. Evans on the catch. First down, Army, gain of 22. Ball at the Army 44. Gray with room on the outside just keeps this one into Kalispell territory as he picks up 12. First down and 10. Here's Gray again now to the left side. He cuts back towards the center of the field and gets 11. 
Army in field goal range here at the Kalispell 33. Gray to the right. Great job by Kalispell. Another big stop by Braylon Kendrick. Lost a three for Army. Gray now back to pass, and he's off the mark. Incomplete third and long. It would be a long field goal from here. This is a key snap for Army. Patrick Gray, third and 13. Has a man open. Caught by Brady Eaton. He got a foot inbounds. Wow, Army continues this drive. They're in the red zone. Four and a half minutes to play. Gray to Watts. Straight ahead. No one there for Kalispell. Touchdown, Army. Third on the day for Brian Watts. Another lead change, and Army will try for the two-point conversion. And Gray can walk in easily. 31-24. Pressure on Kalispell now with just a few minutes to go. They have to get a touchdown here. Starting at about their 30-yard line, Sean Merville to the left. Tripped up after a gain of four. Four wideouts in the game, a big third and six. Irvin's protected, steps up with it, and can't get to the marker. He stopped a couple shy, and of course they gotta go for it. Third and two, three and a half left. Irvin, time to throw, wide open Sherrod Edwards. And he's up to midfield with this first down catch. Brand new set of downs, Merville still in the game. Another carry, good block in the second level. Nine yards for Merville. This running game has been big in this half. Jim Jackson back in the game, it's third and short. On the sweep, Jackson's got it and falls forward again. He's done that all night. 99 yards for Jim Jackson. With two and a half left, he gets it again. Good cut, Jackson still going. Inside the 20 for 17 yards. Army does not have the answer for him. Six yards a carry for Jackson. Now Merville re-enters. Going back to the screen. Merville with a cut to the 10. Stop there. Eight more. The clock continues to run down. Kalispell runs the play clock to five and give this one to Trey Dunn, who is very close. And they do give him the first down progress. Kalispell continues to run the clock down. Here's Jackson again, he's got room and powers his way in for the touchdown! Warhawks get their score! It was all about the ground game. And Coach Leon Daniels signals they're going for two. They are not trying to tie it up. This is it, big spot for Kalispell. Luke Irvin to the air, for the lead! No, it's off the mark! Intended for Drake Maddox. It looked like he was gonna run left and find that opening, but he cut his route short, and now Kalispell's down one. Can they recover the onside kick? It is scooped up by Robinson, Army has it. Kalispell does have all their timeouts, but only 46 seconds remain. They cannot allow a first down. Gray spins back left, broke a tackle, now stops. No gain. Timeout Warhawks. They have to do it two more times. Gilbert the motion man. And it's a broken play! Gray is stumped for the loss! I don't know what happened there, but there was some miscommunication. And it's third and 16. One more play. Gray will keep it. He's got some room. And is stopped after a good pickup. That will give them a better shot at the field goal. Now it's a 48 yard try to put Army up by four. What a kick, right down the middle. 34-30. Kalispell has 28 seconds left and no timeouts. The home winning streak on the line. Dehante Jeffries back deep and they'll take this from the one. Jeffries to the 20, tries to make a move and he goes down on first contact. 25 seconds left. They have to get a touchdown. Five wide for Irvin. He's under pressure and throws a strike for Vincent. Gain of 17 to stop the clock and 20 seconds remain. Lindsay lines up left with Edwards. First and 10, more pressure. Irvin again to Vincent. 
Now they're into Army territory. That's 16 yards. Still 13 seconds to go. Maddox and Merville check back into the game. 13 seconds left. Army brings pressure. Picked up, and Irvin takes a shot toward the end zone. It's Maddox. Oh, my. He caught it. Touchdown. No way. Kalispell has the lead with seven seconds left. Maddox right down the middle. There was no safety help over the top. Army wanted to create pressure. Kalispell was ready for it, and they have the lead. Army has one shot to make something happen. Here it is, last play of the game. Patrick Gray, he's intercepted! Elliot Red ends the game, and the streak continues! 29 straight victories at home. This one, the closest to ending Kalispell's dominance here in Kalispell. Unreal finish. A number of second half lead changes and a thrilling down to the wire finish. I didn't think we'd pull it off. I thought after the two point conversion failure that it was over. I didn't want to go to overtime against Army. And I felt like if we could put them in a position with like 50 seconds left to have to drive down the field passing that they wouldn't be able to do it, especially with Patrick Gray at quarterback. But somehow we got one last chance, a couple good setup plays to Josh Vincent, and then Drake Maddox. Biggest game of his season, biggest game he's had in a really long time. That was an incredibly fun game. Army's option offense is phenomenal and they're not very easy to stop. And because they can do so many things, there wasn't like anything special I could do. All I did was call the same plays over and over again and hope that we could just make plays. It was all on the players. To uh, get off blocks, make tackles, take the right angles. I tried to keep the safeties back just in case they got outside and there would be at least someone to slow them down. We got better throughout the game though, it was a lot of fun. And I know that I've talked about doing like a, a coaching carousel series sometime. It'd be a lot of fun if I was running an offense like that. I think watching Army run this offense made me want to do something with an offense like that. But that is going to do it for this episode everybody. Leave your feedback down below. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on the video, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.